Hello guys, I I'm the Apple Cow Prodigy, and I'm going to talk about the Legend of Korra whole series thing, the a review of it, and it'll be spoiler free uh, for the beginning, and then at the very end I'll say my thoughts on like, the finale-ish part, but I'll put like a big spoiler warning and you can turn off the video because I'll be all done talking about my spoiler free part, um, or for the most part, spoiler free. Um, so basically, I was a big fan of Avatar: The Last Airbender. I might actually watch that again this summer because I have my friend's Netflix account and I have nothing to do for a while. So I might rewatch that. But I bought the season pass on iTunes, so I've seen all the episodes, and I'm just gonna get my quick review of like the whole series, season one, book one, air. So it stars Korra, who is the new Avatar. This takes place 70 years in the future, and. I really liked how they started off with Korra already knowing firebending, airbend, or not airbending, firebending, waterbending, and earthbending, but she didn't know air, which is the one element we never saw Aang learn in the first show, because he already knew it. So it was really cool because so because now if you've seen the original and you've seen the new one, you you you've seen people learn both all four elements, and that's really cool. And um, I really enjoyed all the characters, uh, Naga, the bear, polar bear thing, uh, that was just an awesome, like, pet character thing to replace the air bison type thing from the original. Um, I also like Korra's character and how she was, like, a badass, but she wasn't really in her spiritual state. But how Aang was in a spiritual state very well, but he wasn't in his physical state of, of all three elements that much. And I also really enjoyed the other side characters. Mako and Bolin were really fun to watch. I really liked how they were contrasted. Uh, I also enjoyed... I'm just reading some of the character names, because I don't know all of them. I also liked the Somi's story. That was nice until... A little bit towards the end, but I'll do that in spoilers. And yeah, and th this this ser TV show, the animation is amazing. It's some of the best animation I've ever seen. I really enjoy how they change the setting. I like how the bad guys, who are called the Equalists, and Amon. Amon is just one of my favorite villains ever. He's so cool. Um, I, I like how the Equalists. They actually have like a reason. You can see why they want their position unlike the fire nation was just oh let's go destroy everything and rule the world they they don't really want to rule the world they just want to be equal which is something we can relate to but they're the bad guys and you can see both sides and it's not just a clear one side argument and i thought that i thought that whole part of it was really nice um tenzin yeah i really enjoyed lord tenzin his character, he was awesome. I liked his children. They were always really fun to watch. They made me laugh a lot, especially especially the young little boy, and how the older one is always like all wise. The middle one's kind of in between, and the younger one, young boy, is just like freaking out the entire time. It's hilarious. And the sign, or I'll say this in spoilers, but what he says in the season finale, I'll just say it. I cracked up so hard. It was awesome. And I also liked how. The show never really wasted time. It was always like, wait, episode's over? Ha, ha, halfway till next week? No! It was just awesome. I love that. I love the show so much. I'm going to probably rewatch it as soon as this is over. Oh my god, it's just a special place right here. Come on, book two. We have to see it. I'm, def I'm definitely going to buy this on Blu-ray, even though I already have the HD season pass. Fuck it, I'll pay another like 30, 40 bucks. That one on Blu-ray, I'll be able to watch on my 32-inch TV in my room. Right here, man. I'm grabbing my tit. Uh, so definitely watch the show if you haven't already. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're all available on Nick.com. As just, you just gotta love it when your camera runs out of battery. So I wanna say it's quick. But I r loved how. Just go watch the show. It's on Nick.com. You want to see it. It's just an amazing experience. If you're a fan of the original, definitely see it. Uh, if I were to rate it, I'd give it like an A or an A+. It's just so awesome. And 
some stuff they put in the finale, oh my god, how they get away with that on Nickelodeon, it's just, uh, just watch it right now, turn this video off if you haven't seen it already, and go watch it. Okay, I've been Yapka Prodigy, and thanks for watching, and now you guys can stick around for the spoiler section. You guys gone yet? Only, only, only people have seen the finale here? Okay, good. Okay, the whole reveal of who Amon is is just awesome. As Noah talk, oh my god. The whole backstory, I just loved it so much. The whole love triangle between Asami, Korra, and Mako, I thought was okay. The scene where Mako and Korra kissed and then Bolin walked in, I was like, no! It was just, uh, this, this show is just so good! And I loved how the boat scene and the finale where Noah talk, or not Noah talk, what's his brother, Tarlock, uh, blows him up as long as his brother. I, I like how Tarlock's character evolution in the series was just so cool, how he went from being this horrible bad guy we all hated to the end actually redeeming himself and being like a hero. It's kind of like the Darth Vader of Legend of Korra, how he's a really bad guy. Then he sympathizes with him a little bit, and then he's a full-blown hero by the end. It's just, oh my god. But then sh something, something really bad has to happen to him to make him realize, oh man, and then he's good again, and he saves the day, and it's just, oh my god. Tarlock, uh, I love that whole thing. The twist about Osami's father being a bad guy, I didn't see that coming. Uh, I don't know what her name is, but the metal bender, the, the chief. Okay, where is she on here? Uh, Chief Lin Bang, Beifong. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, Chief uh, Lin. I also liked how she like gave herself up at the end, uh, and lost her bending and all that. And then also like when Amon was like, okay, here and assured Lord Tenzin and all his kids on there. I was like, <gasps> what? I was like, wait, wait a second, how'd they get him? And it was just, oh my god, it's just so good. And the and when, like, they, and then when she, like, and then Amon took Korra's powers, I was like, they actually did it. Oh my god. I love this show. It was just so good. And then the, uh, when Mako did the f electric thing, it was like, it showed us how awesome of a character and how awesome of a bender he actually is it was just so cool and then also later they had the how she lost her bending she can't get it back oh my wait just before i go that when she in the finale when she first did the air punch i literally fangasm and screamed out loud i was like yes when she did the uh when she first air bended and won and then he bended water and they all figured out he was a liar and then he tries breaks his brother out of prison and uh Tarlock bros blows blows up the ship and they both die. It's just oh my god. I really wish they're both dead because that's that's a perfect send off for both of the characters. They're just so good. Well, Amon's a good character, he's just a bad guy. And then the whole ending where she finally is in one with her uh, spiritual state, and then you see a guy looks like Lord Tenzin, and then it turns really Aang, I was like, holy shit, it's Aang! It was so cool. And then she's and, sh and then she goes into her energy avatar state. I've been waiting for all season. Part of the reason I want to see a finale so badly was so I could see her go into her avatar state. She And she bends all four elements, and she's just badass. And then the kiss, which is, uh, I don't really think, I think Asami was just put to the side for the last, like, three episodes but whatever she was still a fine character and then Mako and Korra kiss and it's just like uh okay it was kind of forced a little bit but it was developed enough I bought it it was okay and then um and then how it ends like like that could be the series finale I just I just hope there's because I, I know there's a planned book too they better make a book too it'd just be so good but that's enough rambling uh say in the comments all your thoughts about the all your thoughts on the show and what happened and how cool it was. Uh, I'll, I'll respond to a lot of them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Apple Cal Prodigy. You can you can subscribe up there. Comment below. Like the like, like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Pleasure me. So if it pleasures me when you thumbs up the video. I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.